All right. Um, today is the. I'm not gonna start the YouTube intro with me wiping my fucking honker here. So this is just for you guys. <coughs> Welcome back to collecting every block in Minecraft by release order. Today is another doubleheader with two versions being covered today. These being 1.5, the redstone update, and 1.6, the horse update. Those smooth-brained individuals like me may not remember much from this update considering redstone is sort of a foreign language to me. But regardless, we should be able to get through this version pretty quickly. We'll start by making Snow Layers, a block that has been in the game since the alpha days, but only just now became craftable with snowballs. So unrelated to the update, I did do something off camera. Just a little bit of a change, but something that I think will do me very well in the long run. Uh, I have now guarded my nether portal from the elements of the outside. This is the same spot but you wouldn't know it because I've completely surrounded it in stone brick, but it is the same spot that the portal's always been. We'll be spending a good deal of time today in the nether since this update added nether quartz. We'll need a lot of quartz to make various redstone components like comparators and daylight sensors, and quartz blocks and all the variants to those will need to be made as well. To breeze through the nether as fast as possible, let's make ourselves a nice pickaxe. 23? Huh? Why? Why is that so expensive? Wrong way? Oh, okay. I mean, that's still a lot. 11? Christ. We'll also need to repair our silk touch pick for nether quartz ore. Before we head off to the nether, I will take some time to make all the new blocks that I can make with the stuff that I have at home. Stuff like redstone blocks with nine redstones, activator rails, which, uh, pff, Jesus, I don't think I've ever made these before today. Hoppers, droppers, and tripwire to make trap chests. Okay, very interesting. It has shapeless crafting, please. <laughs> Look how happy he is. He's just the happiest little guy. Weighted pressure plates in both gold and iron were also added, completing all the blocks that I can make now without nether quartz. Alright, so that's both of the weighted pressure plates, and then everything else takes quartz, or literally is quartz. So it's time to head through and generate new nether terrain to get quartz to spawn. I haven't gone too far out in the nether, so I reckon it shouldn't take too long before we can find some newly generated terrain. Well, this is dangerous, I fully recognize, but... I mean, honestly, it's just another day in the grind. I think you might- ooh, I see some quartz. Okay, so this is new nether, nice. Alright. So I'm going to silk touch all the quartz. Um, first of all, I'm going to need like the block of nether quartz ore. And I don't have a fortune pickaxe, so I'd rather save this nether quartz for when I do have a fortune pickaxe. So I'm just going to silk touch it all for the moment. Please make the gas sound effect. I'm begging on my knees. <laughs> we return home with 62 ore, adding one to the chest and mining the rest. All right, so quartz, I think, a block of quartz, of course, is a block. And then I think three of those should make slabs and then three slabs or six slabs rather. And then two of those should make chiseled. Okay. And then to make stairs like that, okay, a pillar quartz block. Is that two quartz blocks on top of each other? It is, okay. Easy. Is there smooth quartz? Smooth quartz can now be obtained by smelting a block of quartz. That's not until 1.14. So that's not for a while still. Is it slabs? Interesting, it is slabs. Wow, okay, so three blocks of glass one and a half blocks through these slabs, and then three quarts gets you one piddly shit little block? That's insane. That's kind of criminal, to be honest with you. So you say this, 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 here. Redstone comparator. Easy. Easy. And after the comparator, we're done. One hour and six minutes total to complete this version, which is a welcome relief after some of the versions that we've done recently, and a grim reminder that future versions will not be so quick. But we're not done yet. I could move on to the next version, 1.6, but there is still a lot that we can do now in preparation for the next version, 
As you can see, Terracotta gets added in 1.6, and you'd think it'd be wise to change the version to 1.6 and find a Mesa biome to get all those different colors. But, Mesas were not added in sync with Terracotta, then known as Hardened Clay. You had to smelt clay blocks to make hardened clay, and then dye them yourself. So why don't we go on a little clay hunt before switching over to the next version, to save having to do it later. We'll get ourselves a good shovel, and venture out. The only thing that you could do is get a Silk Touch shovel in order to... Should I get off the toilet and go back to work or stay here watching stream? I don't know, dude. Boss makes a dollar, you make a dime. I think you have the very... Yeah, I think you have the right to shit on company time, honestly. So, unfortunately, a lot of the clay in the New World generation is underwater. So, yeah. Kind of a pain in the ass, but hopefully won't be too bad to get a lot of. With a few stacks to our name now, we're ready to move on to the 1.6 update, also known as the Horse Update. Not that we're really worried about horses, but, I mean, you know, it's worth mentioning. Cole joins Redstone in having a block form now, and that'll be handy in smelting all of this clay that we've collected. So with that going, we'll also make hay bales using 9 wheat, and some carpet, which was also added along with hardened clay, and both of those things will require being dyed to get all the different color variants. So this is all the dyes that I got right now, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 dyes. The problem is, is that every... I, you can't do it like this, either. You can't just dye one piece of terracotta, you gotta put it in the middle, and you gotta dye 8 pieces. So, every one block that I'm going to register in that chest will require eight pieces of terracotta. So, yeah. It's going to be very expensive. That's why I collected all that clay yesterday. But that's blue? Oh god. Oh my god. I forgot they added you. And they don't drop XP? <laughs> so now, I need more wool. Because... Well, I just do. That's why, bozo. However, I do have a lot of string, so I might even be able to make enough wool. That's 32, and if you consider that I would need 16 different kinds of dye, and I would need to do two each, that might be enough? I think that might be enough, actually. Maybe I don't need to go get sheep. And with all the colors of carpet and clay made, we are done. But is it really in the spirit of the horse update for me to at least try to go out and find a horse? After all, before Elytra gets added, it is a pretty viable way of getting around. Okay, so we got to 5,644 on the Z. So let's just keep going forward on the Z. Let me also F2 these coordinates so I can come back at any time and hope that we hit new terrain pretty soon. For some reason, it's really pleasant looking. Yeah. It almost... Never mind. I'm not gonna say what I was thinking it looked like. I'm not gonna say it. Yeah, some wha real wacky generation. Some real zany generation. Hello. Oh my goodness, that took freaking forever. I mean, it honestly didn't take that long going this direction. But... Going other directions, yeah. So let's see here. Let's give like a uh, let's give like a little test run to all these horses. That one had ten hearts. This one also has ten hearts. Okay, so both of those have ten hearts. Okay, I don't really think the hearts are too indicative of like. Man, this one's only got eight. But surely, if this one only has eight, then maybe like it'll have better jumping and speed stats, right? This one has ten. I kind of want to take this 8 one, because I'd be willing to bet, almost, that since he has less health, he probably has better jumping and speed stats. Okay, he loves me. He loves me. I can't really tell. I wish I had a way of telling how fast they are. This guy seems pretty fast! Am I crazy? This guy seems kind of fast. 
Look how glitchy they are, though. Like, ugh. This seems really fast. What about the jumping? I, I don't really honestly care about the jumping. All I really... This jump... Okay, he seems like a horrible jumper. Yeah, he seems like an absolutely horrible jumper. Oh my god. I honestly think that this is like... This horse put all their points into speed. And you know what? I think that's all I really care about. I think that's all I really want. Let's take him. Bring him back home. Since I also want my girlfriend to be in the video, I'm going to name her Phoebe. It's a fantastic name. It's a fantastic name. E-H-O-E. -E. That's how you say it, right? Phoebe. Good. Phoebe. Great name. And that is it for Minecraft versions 1.5 and 1.6. Sorry if this video winds up being on the shorter side. I, I'm not sure. I haven't put it together yet by the time that I'm recording this, but... Uh, yeah, so we knocked out two versions today, and that's pretty good. Next time we'll tackle version 1.7, also known as the update that changed the world. It added a couple new biomes like flower forests and savannas, which bring plenty of new blocks to find and make. But thanks for watching, and join me on Twitch where I stream the live making of these videos. If you don't have Twitch, or you prefer YouTube, then check out my second channel where the full, unedited streams of this series goes. Become a channel member if you want to go the extra mile to support my work, and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all for version 1.7.